Welcome to Crystal Info Get Going Guides, uh, Crystal Info Co.uk. You can find us on YouTube, iTunes, and on uh, Crystal Info Co.uk. These tutorials are about setting up WordPress. WordPress is a great application for making blogs or very quick websites uh, and is very flexible. First thing to do is to get into your cPanel uh, to install WordPress onto your uh, server. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, look at my get going guides on finding a host and installing uh, software. Uh, but this is the basic cPanel that we're working at and we want to go down to Softer Colusius. So if we scroll down uh, to where we can find it, we can find this button here in the cPanel and we just want to click on that and then comes up lots of software that you can use uh, on your uh, web on your uh, server and we want to go to blogs and we want to choose WordPress and up comes this WordPress thing and it gives you a good thing in Software Colusius where you can look at demos and find some information about it but we just want to install it. Uh, the good thing about this system is you don't need to mess around with installing SQL databases and setting it up on your uh, server it does it all for you. Uh, it gives you a little bit of information uh, down here uh, for it, uh, but we just want to click on install and then up comes all the information that we got for it. So we're using an HTTP system. This is a domain I'm setting it up on crystallinfoco.uk. First thing we need to do is to make a folder. So I'm going to make a folder for it, uh, which is where it's going to insert the WordPress uh, files. So I'm making a folder. If you want to run WordPress as the entry to your website, so your whole website is going to be based on WordPress, you don't want to put a folder in at all and then when you type your domain name it will go straight to the WordPress index file and will load that straight up. Uh, so I've typed WordPress in so it's going to go into a folder here for me. Then I can put in, uh, if I move down to site settings, I can then say what do I want for my to call my blog. Uh, so I'm going to call it uh, Chris Linford WordPress and then I can put a strap line on it and I'm going to call that all my blogs there and that will appear on your WordPress uh, file there. Then you can move down and you can type in what do you want the admin username to be. So when you log in as the authorized user, uh, how what do you want to call yourself and what do you want your password to be. So I'm going to keep it admin and I, at the moment I'm going to keep it on uh, a straight simple password. I'm just going to call it pass so it's easy for me to log in. You'd want to change this to be something a bit more secure uh, for this. So put in some um, hexadecimal codes and things to make it a bit more secure. And then we want uh, an email address for that to go to. So on your server you'd want to set up an email account for admin. Uh, I'm just going to call it Chris at this point. The good thing about this is it will send you information to remind you what your WordPress uh, settings were and what you can do is also put in another email address as a backup uh, so I'm just going to put in uh, my university address there as a backup and that will give you uh, a quick guide if you uh, need a, to see your information from another uh, email host and then all you do is click install and then it will run through uh, the install uh, system for you which is quite quick and it's already there. It will send you an email but you can access your WordPress account straight away. You can go into the public view which is crystalifoco.uk slash WordPress or you can go to the in uh, administrative section where you can start to make changes and control it uh, which is in the wp-admin section uh, for it so we just if we want to we can just click on the public view uh, for this and this is the basic WordPress uh, page that it's got so you can see here I've got the title Chris Linford WordPress and all my blogs is the strap line uh, for that and moment. This is the basic uh, file that it's come 
uh, with me so I've got some basic information down here we can change all this later and a hello world just to so show that it's starting to work now what you want to do is to get into the admin section on it so that you can uh, make some changes so if we just put WP admin which is what it has before we go to there and then we can log in uh, to WordPress there so I've just got my admin and then I type my password and I can log in and then I can start to make changes uh, with it so uh, which is quite easy so this is the control panel we'll have a look at the control panel in the next tutorial but basically what you've done now is you've installed it you can access the admin and you can start working on it so that's it for installing WordPress uh, find me on www.chrislinfordco.uk or on iTunes uh, and YouTube and visit more tutorials on how to start to control the WordPress site to make it your own personal site.